Hey friends, today we are hanging out in the Magic Kingdom. As you might have heard, Hurricane E. Dahlia has passed through Florida and my prayers and thoughts go out to anyone that was affected by it. Here in Orlando or near Disney, uh, we weren't affected that much. So I figured I'd come out and show you guys around the park. It's clear out now and I figured we'd get something to eat. I hear the Plaza Inn restaurant has a brand new menu and I love going there so we're gonna ride some rides eat some food and just have a beautiful magic kingdom kind of day anywho's let's go do this as you can see the weather in the magic kingdom is all clear and there's a lot of park goers out enjoying the park and uh, yeah we have a little like we have a couple of raindrops but nothing too serious the Walt Disney World Resort stayed open during the whole entire hurricane and they never closed. And there were people here in the Magic Kingdom during probably the roughest part of the storm. And usually uh, during like hurricane season, you'll see the rare moments where there's hardly anybody in the park and the like wait times are super low. And we'll see if it's like that today, like, you know, after the hurricane. I haven't heard the Magic Kingdom this quiet in such a long time. Like you can just walk around and hear the music and you can uh, hear the water fountains and it's just so peaceful. Look at that. And like nobody's walking up to the castle. I just got back from my trip to Canada and I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to make it home. I was traveling like during the hurricane. Like I was monitoring it while I was over there and I knew it was coming and I was like, wow, I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. Uh, but we did and uh, I got home and it was literally as the hurricane was coming into Florida. And luckily I live like really close to the Magic Kingdom and uh, really didn't affect this much. I mean, we had a a lot of rain some heavy uh, wind but uh, me and Gracie just sat in the house and then now that it's cleared out we we're like okay I was like oh I'm gonna go explore I brought my umbrella with me just in case but this umbrella is really special because I got this in New Orleans and it's uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure so it's really cool I have a Tiana's Bayou Adventure uh, umbrella and I like the I like the colors look at that it, it feels fancy I also think that the colors match my new Haunted Mansion Roosevelt shirt. These are gonna be coming out very soon. Actually, I think they're coming out today. And I love this print. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Finally, a little Haunted Mansion Roosevelt. Here is a look at the wait times in the park at the moment. Looks like Space Mountain is 30 minutes. Haunted Mansion was 60 minutes. Seven Doors Mine Train was 70 minutes. But the virtual queue is open for Tron at least. The wait times are high now because the storm is over and everyone is coming to the parks. But if you were here earlier in the day, uh, it was probably like very rainy, very windy. You probably didn't have to wait in line for some of your indoor like attractions. But uh, I don't know. I just, like I said, I didn't want to come out during the storm. I didn't want to get all wet and windy. And now it's just kind of cool to be walking around and it's still empty. It's just, uh, I feel like a lot of people are like on the rides. I just noticed they folded up the umbrellas in front of the Plaza Restaurant and Casey's probably because they're afraid the wind was going to like blow them away. Can you imagine just seeing like looking down Main Street and staring at Cinderella Castle and then a bunch of like yellow umbrellas and red umbrellas just start flying all over the place? I think we're gonna head in and actually get something to eat at the plaza just around the corner. There's a sign uh, over by the bathrooms and I'm staring at it, the plaza restaurant just around the corner. I just think it's a fancy sign. That's the sign I was talking about. And I wanted to point out what I think would be probably the best firework view you could ever get. And it's actually above the restaurant. There's a little white bench on this like gazebo. I think I'm gonna call it a gazebo. Uh, and look at the view. Like, can you imagine sitting up there and just watching the fireworks? I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, you have to be someone very special to actually get up there. Like super special. 
Here is a look at the menu at the plaza, and there's a couple of new additions, including onion rings, and the soup of the day is an amazing creamy corn and sausage soup, which I heard was so good, and I'm, so, I'm excited. I'm a big soup guy, and then for the entrees, they brought back a couple of their classics and then renamed some of them. They used to have a Main Street burger, and I loved it, uh, but now it's just a bacon cheeseburger. They've got Got the home style meatloaf uh, they uh, made a crab cake sandwich because they used to have crab cakes as an appetizer the triple decker turkey club sandwiches back with the lemon pepper mayonnaise a lot of people missed that one it was gone away but where the big change is is in the dessert menu because they've got a whole bunch of new desserts including some awesome milkshakes look at this chocolate pecan brownie milkshake key lime pie milkshake a strawberry shortcake then they've got a chocolate layer cake with caramel popcorn mousse cotton candy cheesecake wow there's a lot there and at one time they used to actually sell endless milkshakes so if you got one of these milkshakes you can just keep on getting refills i wish they'd bring that back i really do because i kind of want to try all of the new milkshakes for starters, we got the soup of the day, which is that creamy corn sausage uh, soup, uh, well, chowder, and oh my lord, it looks amazing. I am so excited. This is new. For a while there, I feel like the tomato soup was always the soup of the day, but I think I was just coming in on the tomato soup day. And uh, over here is the onion rings. These are brand new to the menu, and... Uh, I'm excited to try them. It also looks like we got different plates. So they're definitely doing something different here. They're trying to take the plaza in a different direction. Nothing like some hot chowder on a cold, rainy day in Florida. Look at that. I'm even lifting up my bowl so I don't spill the soup down the front of my shirt. That right there is some good soup. Good soup. And now it's time to try the onion rings. I'm not the biggest fan of onion rings, but I wanted to give them a try because they're new and so that I can show you guys. And it comes with like a little uh, special sauce there. Probably horseradish. I've never been an onion ring person. You know what I mean? I like Burger King's onion rings and I think that's it. Like Burger King's onion rings, I don't even know if they're technically onion rings because I don't know what's going on in there. But uh, we'll, we'll try it and see how they are. <laughs> They taste just like regular uh, onion rings. Nothing really stands out for me. You know what I mean? Maybe if there was like some special seasoning on it, that would be cool. When I said I wanted to try all of the new milkshakes, I meant it. So I uh, decided to order each one so that I can show you guys. We have the strawberry shortcake first. This is a hand-dipped strawberry ice cream. Blend it with vanilla cake and strawberries. And look at that. You can actually see pieces of like vanilla cake in there. And then strawberry and cake down at the bottom. And then we have the chocolate pecan brownie. This is uh, hand-dipped chocolate ice cream with spiced pecan, spiced pecans, brownies, and chocolate sauce. Look at that, you can actually see the, the pecans on top there. And then we have the key lime one, hand-dipped uh, vanilla ice cream, blended with key lime curd and graham crackers. That looks so good. That's a lot of milkshakes right there, but we're gonna try them. First up, I think we're gonna do the key lime milkshake. Got a little graham cracker up top. And I like how they give you the, like the, the thick straws, but they're still paper, so they're not gonna hold up too well. But here we go. That one's good. Very good. The lime is not overpowering. I feel like I should like get some of the cracker crumbs in there, though. Now we gotta try the uh, strawberry shortcake. Yeah, right here. That's good. Now it's time for the pecan spiced brownie one. And I'm excited. I'm not a big chocolate shake fan. I like I like strawberry. I like strawberry shakes or oh my favorite milkshake is a shamrock milkshake from McDonald's. That's my favorite. Shockingly, when I said I'm not a chocolate milkshake fan, that one ended up being my favorite. I like the spiced uh, nuts on there. It just, it tastes really, really good. I think out of all of them, it packs the most flavor. Uh, then probably the key lime, the key lime one is second. And then the uh, strawberry shortcake is third. I honestly thought this was going to be my favorite, but that one just snuck up and got the attention. 
enough of the milkshake business the turkey club has arrived and i normally don't get clubs because i don't like mayonnaise but this mayonnaise is actually a lemon poppy seed mayonnaise so i'm gonna try it and see if i like it but i also appreciate how the turkey is thick and it's more not like deli turkey but like smoked turkey and then it comes with your traditional bacon lettuce and tomato if you've ever been a line cook for some reason i used to think uh eating or making club sandwiches at work like when i when i was a cook in a restaurant i used to think making club sandwiches was like the most like like time consuming thing because you have to get the three bread and you have to put mayonnaise lettuce tomato bacon one slice of bread and then the meat like usually turkey and usually we cut it in four uh but here they just cut it in two but i, I remember i used to whenever someone ordered a club i was like dang but here we go, we're gonna try this one. I can't believe it's mayonnaise. It doesn't even taste like mayonnaise. The lemon poppy seed does such a great job masking that mayonnaise taste. Like honestly, I would eat this sandwich. I can't believe I found a sandwich that I would eat with mayonnaise. I'm sure my friend Kristen wouldn't want any of that. She hates mayonnaise, but I'm shocked. It's actually really good. Now it's time we move along to dessert, even though we already tried three milkshakes, which I'm having a hard time trying to finish. Like, there's a lot of milkshake there, you know what I mean? Uh, but I do want to show you guys the new desserts because they actually make these cakes in-house. They uh, have some really awesome options. Look at a chocolate layer cake with caramel popcorn mousse, and then a cotton candy cheesecake with fresh berries, and they're both $10 each that's really cool and of course they still have their regulars they have the plaza restaurant sunday and then the original banana split but i'm excited to try this because i like the caramel popcorn mousse i wonder what it's going to taste like and here are the desserts both of them actually look really good i love how you have the caramel popcorn like kind of just soaking in on the caramel there you know what i mean it's really really awesome because it adds like it's caramel popcorn sitting in caramel and the cake looks nice and delicious and the same thing goes with the cheesecake look at the cotton candy there this is a really pretty dessert i'm not the biggest fan of cheesecake but uh they told me that it tastes more like cotton candy so uh, <clears throat> we're gonna find out. Probably have like a bite of each and give it a little taste test. First, we're gonna try a little bit of the chocolate cake and I'm gonna make sure I get uh, something in every bite. So we'll take a little bit of cake on the bottom here, grab some of the popcorn and the caramel. This cake is so good. Oh, look at that. I love it and I like the popcorn too. Now it's time to try the cheesecake, the cotton candy cheesecake. And I'm not even sure how I go about getting this with the cotton candy. I guess over on this side? How do, I'm making a mess now. I messed this poor pretty dessert right up. Well, this is the way. There you go. I got some of the cotton candy there. It was so hard to cut this, but I think we got it. I've got lots of leftovers for tonight and tomorrow. I've got some club sandwich, some onion rings. I did finish all of that soup though. That soup didn't stand a chance. And also uh, I got some of the chocolate cake to take home. The plaza did not disappoint. And in fact, my favorite thing was probably that soup. It was so good. I guarantee, I guarantee it. If you guys know, if you guys knew how much I actually love soup, like me and my friend Sean, we literally just sit at home and call around to different restaurants every day asking what the soup of day, like what, what's the soup of the day? And we decide whether or not we want to go to that restaurant just by the soup. Uh, but I will be getting that soup probably so many times because I love it so much. And now, I don't know I guess we'll just kind of just walk around and hang out oh and the desserts my favorite dessert was definitely the cake the cake was I mean that's only because I don't like cheesecake but who knows maybe you do I think I'm gonna make my way over to the people mover because it's one of my favorite rides and it's the perfect ride for people watching it also looks like there's only a seven person wait to get on the people mover oh wait maybe nine you raise me up so I can climb the mountains. You raise me up. Please supervise younger me. Thank you. 
This is the TTA Blue Line nonstop service around Tomorrowland. intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Borat 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster labs, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. Next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Mile. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Have you ever been just so relaxed hanging out on a ride that you forget to record the part where they actually say your name? Well, I guess that is that one. Please <laughs> forward. Space Mountain is only a 25 minute wait. Look at that. Holy moly, there really isn't a lot of people in the parks today. And like I said, I mean, the weather is actually pretty decent. It looks like there is a storm, like dark clouds over that way, but no rain anywhere else. Look, Tomorrowland is empty. Disney's Carousel of Progress. Wow. As usual, we'll keep moving ahead. And so this thing is always my favorite part. Because now is the time. Now is the best time to go out and explore tomorrow. The day. See you in the future. Couldn't have said it better. Now is the time, now is the best time to go out and explore tomorrow. Should we see if we can do it again? Like not get off and just keep riding the people mover? Wow guys, guess what? We're going again. They're not even making me get off. We're just gonna go right around. I love that. It's so cool seeing this perspective because that that's the unloading station and we're just going around but like you never see it on this side. I kind of like this. I love it when you get to do this. Most of the time if it's not busy they'll just allow you to keep riding and now we're going again. As I'd sit there while they, uh, they rode the merry ground, did all these things, sit on a bench, you know, eating peanuts, I felt that there should be something built, some kind of a, an amusement enterprise built where that the parents and the children could uh, have fun together. I'm not going to forget it this time. Paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow, please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Thank you. Got it that time. I love that. It reminded me of the days when you used to be able to actually just go and sit out on the people mover and ride over and over again. Like I bet you there I bet you I've sat at the people mover and rode for at least five or six times without getting off before. But they don't do it that often anymore. Only when there's like no weight down below. And as you guys seen when we walked in, it was there was no weight, it was just a walk-on. This day has definitely turned around. We started off in the uh, tail end of a uh, hurricane and now we're rolling into like a golden hour sunset. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Amazing. It's been a beautiful day so far. My favorite time to hang out on Main Street is during the Halloween season because of the pumpkins, but also during like the sunset and the golden hour because everything just looks so amazing. Like it just, it, honestly, like whenever like Florida sunsets happen, it's the perfect time to come out and take photos because all of the surroundings just kind of like, like pop. It just looks so vibrant and beautiful. Look at how beautiful it is outside. The house of magic with tricks and puzzles all the way down to Main Street fashion and apparel, the Emporium. I love it. The color of the buildings, the skies, the lights are just turning on. This is a good time to be hanging out on Main Street. I'm telling you. Oh, look at Starbucks. Everything just feels like fall. 
I think we're gonna start making our way out of Magic Kingdom and go meet up with some friends. But before we do, I want to take you guys into the firehouse and show you around a little bit. I think it's so cool how they have Dalmatians on the inside and then a picture of a Dalmatian on the outside. And I don't know, I'm just feeling extra special and happy to show uh, some Dalmatians in the video today in Gracie's honor. I'm sure some of you have seen the Dalmatian on the front door here of the uh, firehouse. You can see uh, Firehouse uh, Open House Engine Company 71 for 1971 because that's the day Walt Disney World opened. And it says, welcomes you. And look at the Dalmatian. Distinguished for how we extinguish. But did you know that there's a little Dalmatian over here too? Look at this. I love showing this off because it's so cool. But I love it. Look at Very, very fancy. And then you can see all the treats up here. This would be Gracie. Gracie probably would sit here underneath the bucket of treats all day and just stare at them. But I'm hungry. Wow, it only keeps getting better. Look at this golden hour moment in front of the train station. Like, I feel like this isn't real life. There's no filter on my camera here. This is all just the natural lighting, and I love it. I really would love to just stay here and watch the sunset because it is so beautiful. But I got to get home. I got to see Gracie, girl. I got to go see some of my friends. But uh, I am enjoying this moment so much. It is truly beautiful. We've made our way to Disney's Wilderness Lodge and my friends are actually staying here. In fact, I see one of them right now. I see Mr. Uh, Sean right there walking on the very top floor. They'll probably see him come out on this side. Oh, right there he is. I see him. There he is. Yeah, they're staying all the way up there. <laughs> He's waving. So we're gonna go up and say hi. The Wilderness Lodge is such a beautiful resort and I love coming and just hanging out here in all of the cozy spots that they have. Like they have so many cool little cozy spots with fireplaces and rocking chairs and it's so beautiful during the Christmas season. And uh, my, friend, uh, my friends are staying here so I decided to come over and just hang out for a little bit. We just walked into the lobby down there and now we're up on the top floor and you can see right here is a cozy spot. They have two chairs and then below it you can see the fireplace flickering there. There is a couch and a couple of seats over there and then of course right over here you can see there's a bunch of different uh, rocking chairs there and that's a big tall fireplace. But isn't this lobby just so beautiful? I love it here so much. I've stayed here plenty of times and I always say it's one of my favorites. You can also see Happily Ever After uh, from uh, the balconies. You can watch the show and they pump the music uh, through the speakers. So we're going to go outside and watch a little bit Happily Ever After. Might as well. We made our way out to the balcony. Sean's trying to shazam the music up there. And the fireworks are going to start soon. Look at that view. The contemporary 15 seconds and that music's gonna shut off though probably oh. Oh. And they all lived happily ever after Each of us has a dream a heart's desire It calls to us and when we're brave enough to listen and bold enough to pursue, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. I can sing that we're meant to follow, set in the storm. Fly. 
now we're going down and we're gonna hang out in my other favorite little cozy spot it's right over here I love I like I said the wilderness lodge is just so amazing like just to be able to come and hang out look at this oh look at that oh I'm so I love it here yes this is literally the best spot in the whole entire resort Maximus cozy this is definitely maximum cozy right here look at this just oh, the music the Prosecco I feel like I can venture on into the wilderness with this music yeah I would love to go ho I, you know we should go horseback riding Absolutely. right now Right now. Right now. Let's go find some horses, get on their backs, so and we'll just have lights on the horses. Yeah. Well, hanging out here is real cozy, and now it's time to head back home and uh, check on Gracie Girl. Gracie, you lucky dog. We got a bark box. Where are you? You lucky dog, you got a bark box. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Let me see that smile. Show me that smile. I'll show it. Who's a good girl? You want to go for a walk? And then we'll open up your bark box. Come on, let's go. Looks like Gracie's bark box is a uh, PB Dish Liquors Barking Grill. And it comes with a bunch of little fancy things. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh, let's see, she's gonna freak out. She loves getting new toys. Huh? Who's a good girl? What? What? Where's that? And with that, we are done here today. Gracie likes her little bark box. Comes with some snacks and other stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I had a great day. Uh, it was nice hanging out at uh, Magic Kingdom. Uh, the new food at Plaza was great. And then heading over and hanging out with some pals at the World in this Lodge. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.